Listen, don't get me wrong. I really enjoy my job, but there's certain points of being a social media influencer that you have to deal with where I miss just kind of being a normal person. I made a totally innocent post on Facebook last night where I made some homemade uh, cinnamon honey butter and copycatted Texas Roadhouse's butter. I want to read you some of the comments. First of all, this is the picture I posted and this is what I made. And here come the comments. No wonder you're fat. I mean, I... Thanks, Rick. You really got creative on that one. I, the only thing fat on me is your mother. Annabelle says, can you please send me a friend's request? <clears throat> no. Shiva says, pics or it didn't happen. I, I, it's right there. John Hogg just randomly comments toilet paper. Like, I don't even know what the, I don't even know what the f*** that means. This is one of the best ones. Charles Daniels says, Texas Roadhouse does dinner rolls, not muffins. Try again. First of all, I've never seen anyone so pressed over a f***. Dinner roll. Second of all, that's a biscuit, not a muffin. Third of all, you need to crawl out of your mother's basement because if biscuits got you that that upset, bro, you need to go get laid or something. I don't know. And John says, if you want the real recipe, DM me. You need a stand mixer for it to be proper. First of all, I'm not DMing you. This is not a drug deal. It's a recipe. So then I commented back. I used one. And then what happens? Five minutes later, John comments back. Ah, uh, get a stand mixer. I just told you I used one. You know how hard it is to look at some of these comments and just roll forward? Like, some of these comments are so pick me. When I pick you and point out your dumb comment, then you're like, he's being mean to me. No, I'm not. You were the dumb first. Don't call for the attention if you don't want it because I'm better at it than you are. Damn, I'm feeling good. By the way, we just dropped these new hoodies on my mental health line. It's okay not to be okay. Click this link right down here and pick one up in my TikTok shop. They're dope. Or if you don't want one, don't get one. Just leave another comment about how much TikTok has turned into QVC and I can't stand ads. And then I can listen to you get pressed about it and get angry over me just advertising a shirt me by the way i love comments hateful not hateful haters if you have haters and you don't want them bring them on to me because every time you get on your keyboard and you decide to be a smart ass, when you leave any kind of comment on a video of mine it pushes my video out into the algorithm so come on come over here if you don't want haters i'll take them <laughs> hey real talk it's a beautiful world i'm in a beautiful mood mood i'm in a boot a bit me it's a beautiful world and i'm in a beautiful mood and i love y'all get out and make the most of your day let's get it be a bad bitch and don't forget to pick up your hoodie right here it's okay not to be okay love y'all